so currently i have created a complete assembly with sub assemblies here i have my right lane then right shoulder then right verge then i have a small drain so this drain will be applied only only for cut sections then i have the daylight so let us say currently we have labeled only this edge of the section edge of the shoulder let us say we want to label these sections as well so if you want to label this you know we need to know what are the point codes of these uh, locations to know that i select this one and i go here sub assembly properties and go to parameters tab so my inside point code is crown outside point code is edge of lane so if you can't find the code description here you can go to sub assembly help and find out what are the codes as a codes related to these points so if i go to code step and go to point so it will say my crown i don't have a label style if you have a label for crown it will give a label here and edge of lane it is this one if you have a label here it will be labeled here if you have a label set up here it will be labeled here so currently they have no label set up that is why we don't see a label so to apply labels here what you should do is i'll cancel this for the moment you have to select the assembly then go to assembly properties from here and then go to codes so it will be giving you what is your code set style so currently i am having we edit with shading so i am going to edit this one edit this one and now a little bit make it smaller and i go to here point point option then my code here is crown so i am going to crown section here i have that one so i will apply the style as label style as view edit then i click ok for here then if i click apply you see you will see a label here so you can see now a label appears here so in the same way you can apply a label here by applying a uh, label style to a lane option so let us say we need to add labels here as well this point and this point so if you go to the sub assembly and see this point is ditch in this point is ditch out you can see from the sub assembly labels if sub assembly properties if you want actually you can't see from the sub assembly properties but you have to see from the sub assembly help so i am going to label this one so i click here and go here and go to point codes i have to add labels to ditch in and ditch out so i click ok so let us see what happens if i click apply so you can see now they will label these things so these labels gives how much of offset from the center line we have and the elevation from that point so it uh, currently it is assumed center line as 00, 0 by assuming that one related to the center line 00, 0 point it will give these elevations but if you apply this to a cross section or section view uh, it will give the uh, real values from the uh, profile or uh, center line elevations right let us say now we, we i i want to get a code to this point so this point i am going to select this one right verge then go to sub assembly properties and go to parameters tab now my point code is verge so this point code is verge so i i want to add a uh, label to verge one verge point code so i click cancel here now i select the assembly go to assembly properties and go here go to edit selection and i go to point now if i see here you i don't have a verge point code here 
so if the point code is not here what you have to do is you have to import it from here so you have to click this import code one then you have to select the sub assembly you need the code so i click this one and press enter or click right click so you if the the code will be imported into the drawing now you can see the code has been imported now i can set the labels click ok now you can see it is labels so this is how you can add labels at your required points using code set styles furthermore you can change the materials in these locations from the code set styles to do that again you need to go to assembly properties then you go to codes tab and go to edit current selection then go to point so then sorry not point actually it should be uh, this shape style then you can apply various materials here so let us say uh, our top material is pair one so if you go to sub assembly properties and see the layer thicknesses you can see this material is pair one let us say we change the material from of pair 1 to overlay so let us see what happens here let's just see what happens to the top layer here when i click apply you can see the color of the top layer changes so in, in likewise you can change all the layers according to your des uh, desired criteria right also from the code set styles you can set these link labels usually we are uh, labeling the top links uh, top links means you have these top links as well as you have some other names for top links so if you consider this uh, these two assemblies actually these four assemblies you have top link name and pave name so if i go here and go to sub assembly properties and go to code step if i go to link tab you can see you have the top and then you have the pave so both applies to this top one then pave one applies to the bottom one so if you have any doubt you can go to parameters and go to sub assembly help so you can see this l1 means pave and top l2 means pave one likewise so if you have any doubt you can clear the doubt by use going to this location so you currently you have pay as the top link so instead of having top core top links you have to use pay links because when you are going to label if you use top links it will label all all these links because all these are top links but pay link will be added only to this one these links are shown to these links are used to show show the super elevation so it is better to use the pave one only so i am selecting here go to assembly properties then i move to code step and go to edit current selection so i will go to, to link so because i am going to label these links and go to pave you can see currently i have used labels to pave so if you want if you don't want that i will say no labels so if i click here you can see these labels disappear so if you want them back again go to pave here and add these labels you can see we get them back so that is how to use uh, code set styles in civil 3d uh, to get most out of the sub assemblies we are the get the uh, required detail for your section view so cross sections uh, that is about code set styles